I married Joe. What a girl, what a world, what a life. Oh, I married Joe. What a mind, love is blind, what a wife. Joan Davis. With Jim Backus in I Shut up, will you? Please shut up. All I ask is to shut up. Please, 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 all he ever talks about is his first wife. Yeah, well, you should have what my first wife had. <laughs> what? Pneumonia. That's what. Yeah, yeah, pneumonia. pneumonia. Please, please, please. 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 You... No more arguing. No more. How can you help arguing when you're married to a character like that? Harry. You think I'm not? Oh, there she is, my wife, Joan. Yeah, she does look like a character. Exactly. You don't know how much of a character she is. Let me tell you about her. When I first met Joan, she was a hostess on a plane. That is, she was supposed to be a hostess. Well, in other words, but let me tell you how it happened. I was taking a flight to Chicago. Hey, it's almost flight time. Where's the other hostess? Ought to be along any second, Marilyn. Flight 114 to Chicago, ready for departure at gate 7. Flight 114 oh, I forgot to tell you, you're getting into the green one today. Oh, no. Why did they always pick on me to break in the new one? Well, somebody's got to do it. Hostess Davis reporting for duty as ordered, Captain. I'm not the captain, I'm the ground officer. Oh, a land lover, eh? <laughs> <That's too bad. laughs> well, nice little craft you got here. Happy to be aboard. Watch this. Any second, she'll break into wild blue yonder. Off we go into the water. <laughs> For all your passengers aboard? All but one. All right, I'll have Frank check you out. I have something to do. Boy, look at those people down there. They look just like ants, don't they? They are ants. We're not off the ground yet. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Rev up the motors, feather the props, or Roger and out. <laughs> I said, Roger, it, that's airplane talk. Uh, don't you ever go to the movies? Look, kid, calm down. Make a landing. What's this act all about? Well, to tell you the truth, I, I'm just doing this to keep up my courage. I, uh, never been up before. You're nervous. <laughs> no, I'm just scared, that's all. <laughs> don't you worry. I'll be with you every minute. Oh, I know. That's what I'm counting on, <laughs> Miss... Uh, uh, Marilyn. My name is Marilyn. Oh, thank you. Good. Now, see to it that each passenger has a pillow. Roger. Roger. Oh, <laughs> oh, Judge Stevens? Yes? Good. You're our last passenger. We'll be taking off shortly. Well, thank you very much, Alistair. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see you, Stephen. Pillow, uh, sir? Pillow, oh, ma'am? Hello, sir. Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, pillow? Pillow? Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> I'm your hostess. Is there anything I can do for you? Uh, would you like a pillow? Uh, no, look, will you get off my lap? Really? Well, I was just trying to make you comfortable, sir. I'm sorry. Oh, dear, the milk. They forgot it again. Well, I'll just have to get some. This is your captain speaking. <laughs> Fasten your safety belts. We'll be taking off shortly. Fasten Thank you. Safety belts, everyone. Safety belts. That's new safety belts. <laughs> it's a hostess! Get me out of here, will you? Well, how did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some coffee? No, thank you. How about a donut? I don't want to be disturbed. 
Oh, do donuts to serve you with me as fried onions? I'm telling you one night. <laughs> Look, Holly, I have some very important work to do. Do you mind? Okay. Sit around. All clear. Ready for takeoff. All clear. Ready for takeoff. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> now, uh, don't anyone be nervous. There are two hostesses here to serve you. Two hostesses to take care of your every need. Two hostesses. How, huh, Marilyn? Marilyn. <laughs> Marilyn. <laughs> there were two hostesses here. I, I hope there are two hosts. There's only one hostess here. No. This is your pilot speaking. Sorry, folks, we're running into a little rough weather. Oh, fine, fine. I can make you more comfortable here. Oh! <laughs> well, that was the beginning, and believe me, it was only the beginning. You mean there was more? More. As the flight continued, Joan's confusion got even worse. She <laughs> spilled some coffee on me. She dropped a few dinner trays. She kept falling into people's laps. Well, of course, the real reason for her clumsiness was that the poor kid was scared to death. I don't blame her. Oh, but when we hit some really rough weather and there was cause for alarm, I'll say one thing for her. She kept as cool as a cucumber, showed not even a, a trace of fear. Not one word of fright escaped her lips. She just lay there in a dead faint. <laughs> so how come you'd marry a dame like that? Well, I found myself laughing at her, and you can't help liking someone that makes you laugh. And that's the way it's been ever since. Now, instead of getting angry at the thing Joan does, I, well, I, I laugh. Hmm. You see, Harry, in order to get along with a person, you gotta have a sense of humor. You gotta be able to laugh. All right, I'll laugh. Ah, ah. That's <laughs> <laughs> no use, Judge. I still hate her. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mitchell, you're not giving my system a fair trial. Laughter isn't just a sound, it's, uh, it's an attitude. So what's to laugh, Judge? The way she <laughs> throws money around on useless things? Last week she bought a love seat. Who's in love? And on top of that, she goes out and charges everything. You know how I hate to have you charge things. You mean how you hate to pay for them. <laughs> That's the kind of a dame she is, Judge. You uh, think my wife is any different? You see this? Uh, That's a message I got today. Seems my wife went out and bought a Persian lamb coat and charged it. She didn't think they would check with me. So let's hear you laugh about it. Oh, I expect to do plenty of laughs. Laughing later. Yeah, you, you see, my wife right now is at home waiting for them to deliver it. But I told them not to bring it until 5 o'clock. I want to be there when it arrives. What's the idea? Well, well, now, figure it out. I told her not to buy a fur coat, so she can't show it to me. And if she can't show it to me, she can't wear it. And, and if she can't wear it, why did she buy it? Because she's a character? Exactly. Exactly. Now I'm coming home tonight, an hour early, which will be a few minutes before the coat is delivered. 
and I hope to spend a very amusing evening. You, you'd be angry. You know, Judge, I think you got something there. <laughs> I think so. Least we can do is give your system a try. Shirley. Yeah. What do you say, character? <laughs> <laughs> judge on a business matter. Oh, uh, well, unfortunately, the judge won't be home for another hour, Mr. Mitchell, Mitchell. Uh, Mitchell, this is my neighbor, Mrs. Parker. How do you do? How do you do? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's real nice to have met you. It's been a real treat. Yeah. I'll see you later, Johnny. I'll call you, Minerva. Uh, what is it that you wanted to see the judge about? I'll tell you. Look, I was getting a friendly, peaceful divorce from my wife. Everybody was happy. Then your husband, the judge, sells me on his system on how he gets along with you. A system? Yeah, he says every time the wife does something she shouldn't, the husband should laugh. Sheesh. It didn't work? Oh, sure, it worked up to a point. After we left your husband's office, my wife decided to try out the system on me. She tells me that two weeks ago she bought an alligator bag for 38 bucks. So I laughed. Ah! <laughs> then she tells me that that she bought a pair of shoes for 25 bucks to match. Well, the judge told me about that. Ah! <laughs> I went again. Then she tells me, yeah, he liked them. Then she tells me that that morning she smashed the garage door, so I laughed. Ah! <laughs> then she tells me that her mother is going to live with us for four weeks. Did you laugh? Oh, sure. <laughs> right after I slugged her. That's why I'm here to tell your husband what I think of his crummy system. If the judge really feels that way, then he won't be angry at something I did today that he doesn't know anything about yet. Oh, don't be too sure. Every man's got a breaking point, you know. With me, it's my mother-in-law. With the judge, it might be something else. 
Every... I'll show you what I mean. This morning's paper. Yeah. Man flattens wife's head because toast is cold. Well, brass toast was cold this morning, but he didn't get mad. Well, maybe toast ain't his breaking point. With him, it's probably something else. How about a fur coat? Oh, that would be murder. Murder. Well, will you, will you ask the judge to get the divorce papers out on Mitchell versus Mitchell? We'll be down to court in the morning. Just for laughs. Ah! ah. <laughs> my new fur coat. Ah, and good evening to you, my dear. Brad, what are you doing home? Well, this may come as a surprise to you, but I happen to live here. Yeah, but not for another hour. <laughs> Oh, so I just uh, thought that I would surprise you. Well, you sure did. Ah, boy, am I hungry. Uh, what are we having for dinner? Well, honey, we're having um, uh, veal um, uh, chicken frick I mean, a whole mess of... Uh... <laughs> Brad, what do you think? I forgot to cook dinner. You'll simply have to go to a restaurant. Here, dear. No, no, no. You just fix the little snack. I'll just sit here and wait. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Uh, uh, would you like your slippers? Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's a very good idea. I think I'll, uh, I'll go get them. Fine. They're at the shoemaker's, honey. You know, about 12 o'clock. <laughs> oh, well, no, in that case, I'll just, I'll just sit here and wait, dear. Just sit here. Wait. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> well, I don't think so now. You see, I think... Joan, Joan. Uh, what? Joan, yeah, Joan, I'm... wasn't that the doorbell? There must have been no one answered. <laughs> Joan, hadn't you better answer the door? Why, did it say something? <laughs> Joan, Joan, there's someone at the door. That's probably a wrong number. They've been knocking on the phone all day. <laughs> never mind, never mind. I'll get it. I'll get it. Boy, will I get it. <laughs> Mrs. Stevens? Yes? Here's your fur coat. Well, what have we here, dear? You've uh, been shopping? Oh, no. Uh, this is the boy from the butcher shop. Lady, this is a Persian lamb. What? Yes, a Persian leg of lamb. It's delicious. <laughs> Lady, this is from Saks Fifth Avenue. Saks Fifth Avenue? Yes, it's a new department they just put in. Sort of a meat salon. Well, salon. Thank you very much. But, lady! Uh, Joni, dear, did you say that was a uh, Persian leg of lamb? Yes. But that's such a long box. Well, you see, in Persia, the lambs have very long legs. Oh, yes, my. Say, Johnny. Johnny. Oh, there you are. Say, I have an idea. You haven't cooked dinner yet tonight, have you? And you've been cooking for me all week long, haven't you? Yes, I have. So tonight, I'm going to do something for you. Oh. I'm going to see that you get the most delicious dinner that you ever had in your whole life. Fine. Let's go at the brass rail, <laughs> No, I'm going to cook this Persian leg of lamb. You're going to cook... Brad, if you touch one hair on that Persian's leg, I... Wait, wait, wait. Brad, what are you doing? Uh, I'm getting the oven hot. Oh, no, you, you mustn't, dear. We can't possibly have this for dinner tonight. Why not? Well, because I invited the Carters over, and I'm saving this Persian leg of lamb for them tomorrow night. Uh, the Carters, uh, they're from Persia, you know. Oh, oh the Carters from uh, Persia? Yes, uh, Ali Ben and Shish Kebab Carter. You know something, Joan? I don't think I've ever run into the Carters. Well, they're usually out selling rugs this time of year, and they're just crazy about Persian leg of lamb. So I'm going to save it. I think I'll save it right here. Uh, you, you want to save it? Well, I think I'll put it in the freezer. Well, I... Look, why don't we just go out and get a quick bite and we'll get to bed real early, huh? All right, dear. Oh, there's the phone. Would you get it, darling? I'm yes, just going to straighten phone. up a bit here. I... Hide this someplace. There's that hat I bought last year. <laughs> Uh, was an insurance man. 
An insurance man? Yes, he said you called this morning to insure a Persian lamb against theft. <laughs> who would want to steal a leg of lamb? Yeah, who would want to steal a leg of lamb? Who would want to steal a leg of lamb? My darling, haven't you heard? There's a big international gang of meat thieves operating in the neighborhood. The T-Bone Gang. T-Bone Gang? Oh, yes, it's been awful. Poor Mrs. Wilton down the block only yesterday had her freezer held up and her liver snatched. <laughs> Remarkable. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I'm... Well, come on, come on, dear. Let's go and get something to eat, huh? Mm-hmm. Gotta get that coat out of the freezer. Yes? Oh. <laughs> Good night, dear. I can help. Now, now, just relax, clear your mind, and picture a beautiful, lazy river. And you're floating down the river, way down, way down upon the swanee river, far, far away. That's where my heart is turning ever. That's where the old folks turn. <laughs> All the world is a sad dream. And the reef away her eye room. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> what are you doing up? I thought you were asleep. Oh. sleep at the right time. Well, I don't mind because I got a good night's sleep last night coming home from the lawyer's convention. Mm. Always sleep well on trains. Yeah, I know. Trains. 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 <laughs> All boys. I guess you just have to wait till I fall out. 
Bunny. 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 Bunny.